And ladies, have you ever fallen in love with a couture gown knowing you can't afford it and it will never be yours? Well, don't feel too bad because sometimes buyers for the biggest retailers feel the same frustration while sitting in the front rows of fashion shows. Here to explain the business of bringing an impossibly labor-intensive design to the masses is WSJ fashion reporter Ray Smith. Ray, thanks so much for joining us today. So tell us a little bit about this design, beautiful hand-woven clothes done by the designer, I hope I'm pronouncing correctly, Althusara, Althusara. Right? That's right? Gorgeous Here. stuff. Buyers fell in love with it, but they couldn't have it. That's right. He created these as sort of, quote-unquote, editorial pieces, and that means that they were meant to be shown just on the runway and not available commercially in stores. And why do designers do that? Because he's not the first designer to do that. Well, it's for a wow effect on the runway. Mm -hmm. You want uh, fashion editors in the audience to be captivated and want to shoot that for their magazines, perhaps for the cover, or do a beautiful photo spread. So that's one reason. Um, but also, it's, it's a way to just show um, what the designer can do or is capable of. Of. Um, and in this pe these pieces, for example, could be made to order for certain customers if they're willing to pay the $10,000. That's right, <laughs> that's right. And there might be some out there. Yes, yes, so yes. Althazara knew, though, that he was going to have a big hit on his hands. So at the same time that he was producing these fabulous, wow, hand-woven designs, he was also doing something else. That's Tell right. He that. created um, a more commercial version. Basically, he made digital prints that were supposed to replicate the woven textiles. Um, and they're more affordable. Um, he made them in silk and, um, and also cotton in one case. And I think the idea was he knew beforehand that, A, they were literally hard to produce because of the labor involved. Right. Um, they scrambled to find um, artisans who can you know, weave those textiles for the originals. Um, and these digital prints can obviously pr be produced en masse exactly. and be sold at a fraction of the cost. Are yes. they a huge hit? Are they selling out? Sure. Well, they're going to be in stores starting in August and mm -hmm. September, mm -hmm. and um, already buyers like Neiman Marcus and from Saks have um, ordered them, so they're very excited about them. Smart, smart guy. He's a critical success, and it looks like a commercial success as well. He's on his way there, yes. He's on <laughs> his way. All right, Ray Smith, thank you so much for thank all you. that.